Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video I will show how we easily can start to using uh, Vue.js. I have searched on the internet a lot and I do it because I need uh, Vue.js to support my PHP project and my future uh, Python project. And I don't like to code uh, directly in Node. So I have searched a lot and outcome is this video where you where you finish you can easily import this in what language you want and you don't requ uh, require to use uh, node.js only but of course Vue is a node application so you can build your node applications directly in node and support your server but this video again it's not based on node.js so let's beginning First, we want to install our, our plugin so we can use it. First, we want uh, to install view and view CLI, view loader, and view template uh, compiler. And I can see I forgot to save it into our dev. I'll do that uh, when it's done to install this. And here we go. We want to save it up here. I don't like this one so yes now it's working perfect and then we need to need to install Babel call six if you don't do this it will install seven and then it will conflict uh, later so in this video I will use Babel call six and Babel loader seven I know this is well working because I getting the issues uh, with the newest version of of uh, Babel Loader 8 I think or it's a Babel Core 7 I cannot remember that 100% when we are done with this we need uh, to go for a config file but you can see this is the only stuff you need to start working with the uh, uh, with Vue.js, we're going for a, a configuration file here, and we need a const here to say uh, view loader plugin is equal to require view loader. It's a plugin, it's, it will use it, uh, this one in view. If you don't add this plugin, it's uh, well broken. So let's uh, add it with the plugins. And now we want to say if we have any kind of dot view files, we, we want this to, to handle by view. So let's add model rules and the first rule should be dot view and we want to say loader should be view loader and we need to exclude node models copy this and then we say the J javascript file and it should be Babel loader and that's it if I'm going for for command line and use webpack oh we missed something Yes, a comma. And now we are ready to the next step. 
let's go in for, for the index file because that, that's where we, we want to go. We need to move this to the end of body. If you don't do that, it will not work because then the head will load everything before the body content. So that's will not work. Um, that's creating the the ID. Let's say it should be app hello world. And now we are ready to go uh, to to create our, our view JS file. So let's go in for a folder called view. Hello world.view. And we have it here. And the first one will be template. And then I want an h1 tag inside here. Want to title. And we want a script. This application should be hello world and we want the data that's what we can handle inside the uh, application it should be function return and let's say title hello world first and uh, Loan view app, and then we need methods. Something, something you can use later if you want. We don't want to use this in this video. And then we need to to, to get this into our JavaScript. We have our simple JavaScript here. So let's first import view from view. And then we need to say import hello world from our applications. This is just a nickname. So you can call it whatever you want, but we call it hello world because that's what we want about our application. Uh, then we make a new view instance and we call the element for app hello world that's what we call it in our index here and the next we want is the data but we don't need anything out so just leave it empty and then we need a render and h is equal to h Hello world. That's what we want. And if everything is running perfect now, this will mean we are good to go. So let's test it. And we are here. Hello world is the first and alone app. So, so that's uh, how we do it. You can see this is, uh, is the warning. So let's go back to fix this one. I just remove this and then it should be happy yeah it's happy so thank you for watching uh, this video I hope you will like it and I hope you enjoy Vue.js if you have any comment please make it below I hope you want to subscribe my channel remember to add this video to your playlist and like and share it see you next time